Hey what is up guys, welcome back for another video, it's another great day and another tutorial. For those who don't know me, my name is Karsten and this is Karsten Knows Cardistry. Alright, so last time when I posted my latest video, I scanned my older video's comments, but then I saw these two comments right here. Which gives me an idea to make a tutorial for the variation of the worm by Dan and Dave Buck. Now for those who haven't known the worm yet, there's a link in the description below where Dave Buck teaches you himself his move on Chris Ramsey's channel. Now the first thing I want you to do is to watch that video, learn that tutorial first before you come back here and learn the variation, okay? So without further ado, let's watch this. Alright, so that is the variation for the worm, but before we jump right in for the tutorial, make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss out on my future videos. Because these are the main reasons that I really want to make more courtesy videos and free tutorials just for you. So click 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 and let's get into the tutorial. Alright, so for those who have already learned the mechanics of the worm, you could skip this video at this exact time right here where the uh, variation starts, okay? Now, for those who haven't learned, you could um, place the deck in your non dominant hand, in your left hand, or in your right hand if you are a lefty. Now, just place the packet, the deck like that into a straddle grip, pinky finger here two fingers here and your index here okay and also your thumb here now you're gonna open the deck in your middle finger just grab a 10 to 15 cards like so then in your thumb you could also grab a packet like so now you are gripping this packet with your middle finger and thumb and the middle packet you're gripping it with your thumb and your left index and the bottom packet here is just relaxing into a straddle grip like so okay now you're gonna do this motion where you turn your left hand like that just turn like that and your right hand downwards like that okay now you're gonna strip off one card using your index finger strip off like that make sure it is pointing at the opposite direction of the pack here like so okay now you're gonna connect this side of the card here with your pinky here like that now you have the first display. The next thing you're gonna do is you're going to just do this motion. You're gonna move your right hand towards you and your left hand forward like so, okay? Now in the original mechanics of the worm, Dave Buck is doing this move a couple times. And now for this variation, you could do this move a single time like so okay and now you're gonna strip off a single card here with your thumb you're gonna place your thumb like that and then strip off a single card like so and once you're in this position you're going to move your right hand make sure that you place the single card slightly in the middle like that okay so that when you turn this card here, it goes in the middle. Because if you place this card here with the corner of the card, this would happen. Like that. Or it could just fall out. Okay? Again, 
straddle grip then Z grip like so and then move your both hands into opposite directions and then strip off one card and place it in your pinky place your thumb here and strip off a single card and then you're gonna place your thumb here at this side of the packet now you're gonna extend all packets at once like so okay now you're in the uh, second display now the next thing you do is you're going to close this packet here like that and now you're going to grab a single card with your ring finger like so now you're holding these three two cards and a single packet with your right hand okay now what you do here is you're going to regrip this single card place the single card here with your thumb like that and you're going to slightly close your scissor cut like that now the moment you're gonna do the third display is you're going to extend all of this in your hands like that okay and now for the fourth display put this packet on top of this packet here like so and you're gonna swivel this single card with your thumb you're gonna move your right hand forward and you're going to strip off the single card here clip it with your uh, middle finger and ring now you're holding it like that then you're going to turn your right hand upside down and your thumb is gonna be uh, grabbing this single card here like so and then make sure you have a ring break like that then you're gonna regroup this packet put your pinky here like so and you're gonna clip this single card with these three fingers of yours okay your pinky should be um, grabbing this side of the card here your middle finger should be on top and your middle finger should be underneath the card here now you're going to do this motion like so where you extend these three fingers okay now once you do that position you're going to strip off a single card again like so you're gonna do this motion like that and then you're going to turn your right hand then at the same time you're going to extend these three fingers okay like so now that's the fourth display now for the closer you're going to curl these three fingers like that and you're gonna grab this single card with your thumb now in your right hand you're going to do this motion like so okay and at the same time you're going to slide this single card towards you okay using your index finger and now you're gonna grab this single card here with your thumb then you're going to strip off this packet and put this packet on top of this packet here like so okay now you're going to grab the deck in your right hand these three fingers you're gonna grab it like that and you're going to turn your right hand and swivel this deck using your index finger like so okay so that's it
Right, so that is the variation for the worm by D&D that I come up with months ago. I hope you enjoyed this video because if you do, please do give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to help my channel grow, to help me make more stuff about cardistry just for you. So anyways, thank you so much for your support and I'll see you next time.